Please be seated for a while. His Excellency, my brother priests and friends, Tita Dida has been a very strong symbol of help at the Asa Shrine. She's the indefatigable supporter of all our activities here. And she has always been sending help, even if she was not here physically when she was in Rome. Uh, Tita Nina is a perfect example of a person of true integrity, not only here at the Etsa Shrine, but also historically at the Holy See. She has helped so many people, even priests who were visiting there. And because of this, we were planning some sort of a Balikbayan welcome for Tita Nida, just like a Balikbayan will be coming home. We prepared a little salo-salo. Unfortunately, because of this simple supposedly welcoming back, when word went around, a lot of people started offering themselves to be of service and to help for the preparation. What used to be the simple gathering at the San Lorenzo Chapel could not contain the number of people who are willing to come and help. So we had to move venues to the main chapel. What a simple sala sala would have been um, in our sala is now not enough because of the number of people willing to bring food and the people who would like to visit her. So Titanina, what you see now is not just our simple preparation but a lot of people who truly love you and would like to welcome you back. Tita Nina, welcome back to your home at the end session. Ambassador, you have a right to speak within the mass. <laughs> so let us uh, listen to a few words. From... I do not know how to begin. Uh, I do not know how to express my uh, emotions at the moment. Mixed emotions, but more of joy and gratitude. So to Bishop Song, Bishop De Leon, my beloved uh, priests, <laughs> as I have said in my, in my goodbye speech, when the Filipino communities in Rome gave me a Thanksgiving Mass in Santa Maria Maggiore. I, I copied the words of uh, Father Machu, a French scholastic, and also the favorite phrase of Saint uh, Euphrasia of the Good Shepherd, uh, the foundress of the Good Shepherd Sisters. And she said, and they said, gratitude is the memory of the heart. And many people, uh, government officials, many, many leaders have followed that phrase and used it many times. So I follow them and I say, yes, to, to say thank you. First of all, I want to thank God for making me instrument in many ways, for giving me all the blessings, the blessings of my family, the blessings of my ancestral family, the blessings of being able to go to Rome and serve the church and our country, the blessing of the appointment from President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. I want to thank her publicly because she, did, she never wrote me, we never met before, maybe once or twice when she came here to visit Elsa Shrine. But it was His Eminence, Jaime Cardinal Sin, and Bishop Song Villegas, who moved, I think, heaven and earth to get this appointment for me. <laughs> thank you very much, Bishop Song. And, um, and to you, well, I miss all of you, really. You do not know how happy I am that I am back here. Um, although in, in Rome, I also had a family. I was able to, to perform my work here, too. Like, I was a lector in the Centro Filipino, the Filipino Chaplaincy, the Church of the Filipino Communities in Rome. I, I also lectured there every Sunday. At, um, on the 10.30 a.m. Mass. So to me, coming back to all of you, to see all of you here showing love and, and um, concern, it is something that my heart will never forget. 
I will never forget his eminence, Jaime Cardinal Steele, and, for, and of course my my boss, <laughs> Bishop Sok Villegas. All of you here, all of you present, uh, thank you very much. And I'm back and ready to serve again with you. Thank you.